Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to show you how you can edit images for free with AI using Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is new in Google AI Studio. You'll be able to generate images, edit your own existing images, and you can do all of this just with text prompts. So let's get straight into it. So to access Google AI Studio, just go to aistudio.google.com then you will have to consent to some terms of service and then click I accept. So from here, you may need to adjust some settings where it says model, you should have Gemini 2.0 flash image generation selected. And then the output format should be images and text. I recommend just experimenting with the settings as they are for now. But if you want to make some changes later on, you can see here we have temperature and this is the creativity allowed in the responses. So if you increase the temperature, that allows for more creativity from the AI. But let's just keep it at the default setting for now. So we're going to go through a few different demonstrations. I want to show you how you can edit your own images with this, but first we're just going to play around with the demonstrations already provided here in Google's AI Studio. So the first one is image editing. I'm going to click on this button here and you can see here that they have this automatic prompt, which is add some chocolate drizzle to the croissants. And just like that, chocolate drizzle has been added. So you can experiment with this. Again, this is just a fun demonstration that Google has already set up for us. So now I'm going to type zoom out and then click run and see what it will do from here. So you can see that it has expanded the image a bit but still maintained this original image. It hasn't changed anything. So I just put zoom out to see the bakery and you can see here that they've zoomed out even more and now it looks like these croissants are in a bakery. So now I wrote replace the croissants on the right with a basket of fruit. You can see it's added this basket of fruit. Let's say I don't really like it. I want it to try again. I'm going to click on this little star sparkle icon that says rerun and it's going to run the prompt again. You can see here it completely replaced all the croissants with fruit. So that was not good at all. Let's try reducing the temperature and then click rerun again. Okay, so that time was a little bit better. You can see it's not perfect. So you may wanna play around with some settings until you get what you like. Yeah, this one was a lot better and I reduced the temperature to 0.1. And this one maintained the same basket style as the croissants as well. So let's do another demo. This time I want to show you how you can upload your own image to edit. If you go here under library, this is where you can access any projects you were previously working on. But I'm just going to click create prompt. And to upload your image, just click on this plus icon here beside run, and then click upload file. So I've uploaded this picture of me and let's say I want to use this for a YouTube thumbnail or for my website. It's not really professional right now because you can see my shoulders and I'm wearing a tank top. So I'm going to write something like wearing a black t-shirt. I'm Just going to keep the settings as they are and click run. Okay, so you can see if I click here on view full image, they've added a t-shirt and I think this looks pretty good. You know, they've removed my hair here, but it still looks relatively natural compared to the original photo. So I've just played around a little bit more with this. I wrote expand image to the left. And then you can see here that it expanded the image. It added a bit more of this chair. And then I wrote add text in script font that says Jennifer Marie, and it's done that. Now, as I have gone along, you can see that my eyes have kind of changed from here. Um, the first two images, it looked good. And then here, something has gone on with the eyes once I expanded it. So again, it's not perfect, but I think this is just the beginning. And as the model improves, I think it's just going to get better and better. So if you want to download any of these images, you just have to click here on download, and that will download the image to your computer. Another thing I want to show you is that when you upload an image, you can write something like, I want a side image of this photo and look what it generated. I mean, this doesn't exactly look like me, but based on this photo, this is definitely my nose and it's very, very similar. So you can have a lot of fun experimenting. You can do some crazy stuff. Like I uploaded this picture of me. I wrote curly 80s hairstyle. It gave me this crazy curly 80s hairstyle. Then I said, add 80s makeup, eyelashes, blue eyeshadow. This was nuts. 
this was way too much. Then I said add light makeup uh, and then they made it so my eyes were closed. You can just have a lot of fun experimenting with this, trying out different things. It's not perfect, but it's free and it's a lot of fun. And I really think these models are just gonna get better and better. Again, this is experimental right now. I think this is only the beginning. I want to quickly show you another feature with the image editing. I've just uploaded a picture of my grandparents, which is a beautiful old photograph. And I'm going to ask the AI model to naturally colorize this photograph. We're just gonna keep the temperature on one just to see what they come up with. So this is a lot of fun. I mean, it would take a long time to do something like this in Photoshop. My grandparents did have blonde hair and um, my grandma was a brunette, so that's pretty cool. And because we're directing the AI with text prompts, you can even alter your prompt to get a different result. So I wrote, softly restore color to this photograph in a natural, subtle way. And this time the results were much more subtle. You can see in the previous image, it was a lot more vibrant and more artificial looking. And this one seemed to be more in line with the original photograph. So now let's go back to create prompt. And the second option is visual story which is we can generate a story with images. So if you click on that, you can see they already have this prompt set up for us, which is generate a story about a white baby goat going on an adventure in a farm for each scene, generate an image. So I've just left this and they're going through and generating this entire story, making this consistent throughout. You can see the goat looks the same in this image as in this image. So I'm gonna click stop here and this is something we can do ourselves, we can set our own story. I'm gonna copy this prompt here, copy and then go back to create prompt and let's just edit this story a little bit to make our own story. So I'm going to paste that here. Generate a story about a purple penguin going on an adventure to the North Pole in a 3D cartoon animation style for each scene, generate an image. Uh, there should be five scenes in total. And then let's click run. Okay, just like that, they've done scene one. Now they're going ahead doing scene two. So this is pretty good. He's a purple penguin here, here, uh, and in the first one, scene two, he wasn't purple. So what we could do is just click on rerun and let's see if it will turn him to purple like he was in the previous scene. So yeah, that's much better. It's different than the previous image, but now he's purple. And finally, the last prompt here is birthday card, which is design a custom birthday card. So let's just click on that. So a lot of these AI models have had difficulty with generating text. Let's see, here it says, generate a design that says happy birthday, wishing you a day filled with joy, laughter, etc." And you can see here that they generated this birthday card with all the text and I don't see any errors. So let's try another example. So rather than do a card, I wanna do something a little more complicated to test the text generation. I wrote, create a 1950s retro diner sign with neon lights that says Jenny's Milkshake Bar, open 24 seven in cursive. And look at that, I think that looks awesome. So you can just experiment. I wrote, make this sign on a vintage diner. It came up with that. I'm gonna write, it is nighttime. Let's see if they'll change it to night. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun experimenting with this. This text generation is way better than I've seen with other AI models. And again, this is just the beginning. I think it's just going to get better and better. So I'm looking forward to experimenting more with this and figuring out which prompts work best. Let me know in the comments section if you've tried this out and if you've had luck with any particular prompts or adjusting the settings. Again, experiment with the temperature and just have fun with it. And this is an awesome way to experiment with AI without having to pay for a subscription to something like Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this one and I'll see you all in my next video.